ago today, the Allied forces declared partial victory in World War II with the surrender of Nazi Germany. That day is now known as VE Day, and even in the midst of this pandemic, Fox 6's Sam Kramer shows us how a group of volunteers helped thank some World War II veterans for all of their service. Matthew Kozik was just 17 years old when he enrolled in the Marine Corps and fought in World War II, a decision even on his 95th birthday he doesn't regret. Well, it was a good thing, you know. May 8th is a day meant for celebrating among the Koziks, not just for his birthday. A life of service. But also in recognition of his service. Sometimes people do forget, and I think you do, we just need to always keep them in our hearts and in our prayers and remember what they did. For us. So on this 75th anniversary of VE Day, <gasps> oh, look. a group of volunteers brought the celebration to him. <laughs> Blaring their horns and waving their flags in a curbside parade <laughs> with neighbors looking on. <gasps> oh, look at even bringing Uncle Sam to thank Matthew for his service to our country. They did a lot of sacrificing at that time, leaving homes and family and everything else, and a lot of men died. Uh, so uh, we just thought it would be great to show our respects to the veterans that are still with us. And our flag was still there. The parade featured the singing of the national anthem, and in Matthew's case, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday wishes with a cake, proving even in the heart of a pandemic, and I will bring tears to my eyes again. We can always honor our military. This was really special and such a such a special thing for this to happen today. It was wonderful. In Milwaukee, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Hmm, what a special day, what a great honor. And the nonprofit Honor Our Veterans organized a trio of parades all happening earlier today, honoring veterans on the north and south sides of Milwaukee as well as Waukesha.